Today, you're going to learn how to make a subroutine. So, your learning goal is as usual. You'll be able to write a program that controls the robot. And your daily objective is that you'll understand that subroutines can simplify a program. Subroutines can simplify a program. So, let's find out what is a subroutine. It's a part of a computer program that does a task that you can use over and over again without rewriting it each time. It performs a specific task that you can use over and over again. For example, if you had to write a program where the robot moved around the room and had to sing the same song over and over again, it would be annoying to have to code that song over and over again. You know how long it took you to code your song. So we create a subroutine and we call that as many times as we need to. Let's say that you need to write a program where the robot had to move forward and then sing Frere Jacques, turn to the right and move forward and then sing Frere Jacques, move backwards and then sing Frere Jacques, Turn to the left and then sing Frere Jacques. Let's find out how we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to cheat a little bit because you don't want to sit here while I write the whole of Frere Jacques. So I've copied it and I'm just going to paste it in here. And now we're going to pretend it's not here for a moment. So what we're going to start off doing, it was to move forward, and we didn't have a time specified, so let's make it move forward for half a second. And then we have to sing Frere Jacques. Well, here's Frere Jacques. But now I want to make the subroutine the specific task that can be called over and over again. So, if you hover over this block, you'll see the tooltip says, Make a new subroutine. That is what you click to make a new subroutine. So I'm going to click and it opens up the subroutine. Now we can give the subroutine any one of a number of colors. Let's stick with yellow. And now I am going to just copy this and I'm going to put it in the subroutine. Okay. So that now, let's just, uh, now I can, hold on, I can delete all this. Okay, so now we have our first movement. We move forward for half a second, and now we have to call the subroutine. You see the subroutine's all grayed out at the moment. That's because it hasn't been called. To call the subroutine, we click on this. Look at the tooltip. The tooltip says, call a subroutine. So we click, and then we put that block in here. And we say, yes, we want to call the yellow subroutine. And now you see this is no longer grayed out, because this now has a job. So we are moving forward, and then the robot will sing Frere Jacques. Then we needed to turn right. just a little bit, and move forward, just a little bit, and then we want it to sing Frere Jacques again. So once more, we call the subroutine. Okay, and then it had to move backward. One more. Okay, just for a little while. And then it had to sing Frere Jacques again. And then it did something else. I think it turned left. And then 
we sing Frere Jacques again. So just imagine how long this would have looked if we had all these blocks in each place. Not only would it look long and complicated, but we wouldn't be able to easily see what the robot was doing. But apart from making it shorter, it makes it simpler because now we can see it's moving, it's singing, it's moving, it's singing, it's moving, it's, oh, sorry, it's singing, it's moving. Okay. Now you don't have to have only one subroutine. You can have another subroutine. This one is going to be orange. And perhaps in this one, it's going to flash its lights. Oops, I need to do this first, don't I? Now, the point of a subroutine is you don't want to make a subroutine just one block because then you could just put it in here. It wouldn't be any extra work. You've got to think about the fact that a subroutine keeps things simple. So subroutines are usually a few blocks. Anyway, so if I decide I want to flash the lights here, I'm going to call the subroutine here. And I've got to say this time I want the orange one. And then I want it to flash again here. And I want the orange one. And usually a subroutine is used several times because it's there to make your program simple. And again, you can see you don't have all those flashing lights clogging up your main program. This is your main program. But you can see very clearly move, sing, move, flash, move, sing, move, flash, sing. It's, it makes the program much easier to read. You've got to remember that in real life, you wouldn't be the only person using this program. Other people might use the program. So it's really, really, really important that you make it easy to use. Okay, now you know enough about subroutines to write the assignment. Please read the instructions carefully.